Hello folks, Matthew Smith here, Librarian for Medicine, Health, Social Work and Sociology at UEA. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to export results from Ovid Medline and put them into either Microsoft Excel or into RIS or RIS format, which can then be used for reference managers like EndNote or Mendeley. So without further ado, let's jump straight into Ovid Medline. Now, if I've run a search, and you'll see here I've run a very big broad search for COVID-19, what I should have is a series of results down the page, which I'm able to sift through. Now, for most people, rather than working with these in the database itself, you'll want to take them out to somewhere where you can store them and work through them in your own time. Now, whether you're going to export to Excel or to RIS, you will first need to select which results you want to export. If you want all of the results, you will simply click the All checkbox at the top of the list. If you want to hand select, you can go down and you can select via the checkboxes next to each item, which ones you want to export. Now, if I wanted to take everything out and I tick the all box, what I'll find is that actually I'm not able to export all 119,000 results that I have in this list. So because it is a large number, I've hit a common error, which is simply that Ovid won't let me download that many at a time. What it will actually do is limit your downloads to just 2,000 records at a go. So if you're trying to do more than that, rather than select the all checkbox, what you'll do is use this range box next to that. And in there, you'll select a number of records that you want to take. So in the first instance, I'm going to say I want record number one, through to record 1,999. So with 2,000 records being the maximum, that is the most I can take in one go. And what I would then do is I would come back and I would go from records 2,000 to 3,999 and so on until I'd collected all of the references that I was wanting. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm not going to take 2,000 at a time because it will only slow down the processes. So I'm going to put this down to just the first 10 records. Now, once I've selected the references that I want to export, I then go to the export option, which should be in the menu bar just above the line where we've selected our records. So I click export and it opens up a dialog box for me. Now, this is the point at which I will need to select which format I want the records exported in. So first of all, we're going to take these records and put them into a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So the first drop down gives us the option for which type of format we want the data in. So I'm going to say Excel sheet, which was actually pre-selected for me. And the only other thing that I want to decide is which fields I want exported. If I click on the drop down, you'll get a sense here of what can be taken. Now, in most cases, if you're exporting results for screening, you probably are going to want, as a minimum, the citation and the abstract. But in all honesty, I tend just to take the complete reference. So for me, I'm going to click Complete Reference and I'm going to then click Export. Now, incidentally, you've got two options here. I always just leave these on the default. It's always useful to be able to come back to the file via the links that are provided in the format you download. So Excel sheet, complete reference, let's click export and get this going. Now what should happen is you should trigger a download as soon as you've selected those options and clicked export. For me, this is gonna save into my local computer and I'm going to call it, uh, let's just say Ovid example. Now for you, if you've set up your downloads to automatically download, you may not be prompted to give the file a name. If that's the case, the file will download normally with the um, default, which is citation as the name, into your regular downloads folder, which is very commonly, unsurprisingly, the downloads folder of your computer. But in this case, I'm calling mine Ovid example. I'm clicking save. 
and you'll see that the file then begins to download. So for me, in Google Chrome, I get a little notification at the bottom, and because the download has completed, I can now click on this just to open the Excel, Excel excuse me, file. So here we have my export, and you'll see that what we have is a spreadsheet with all of the different fields for each of the 10 records we've taken out. So you should find that there are 10 records going top to bottom, a different field for each of the different, or a different column, I should say, for each of the different fields that we've taken out. So nice structured data, I can then work with this however I choose. We close this down and come back to Ovid. If I hadn't wanted it in Excel, if I'd wanted it in RIS, my, my process would have been incredibly similar. So I pick my 10 records or however many I want. I click export. And at this point to export RIS rather than Excel, we go to the format drop down and I select RIS. Now you may see other things on here like reference manager or EndNote. Those are perfectly usable if they apply to you. But RIS is a generic reference management file type, which will work with pretty much any reference manager, as well as some other tools like Covidence for example. So to, I suppose, future-proof the file, I tend to take RIS because then if you have to share it with someone who doesn't use the same file manager that you do or the reference manager that you do, they should still be able to open it. Whereas if I download it in EndNote format, for example, as an EndNote user, it may work perfectly for me, but if I then share it with, say, a supervisor or anyone like that, they may have a little more work to get it open. So if I click on RIS, you'll see that the pop-up just refreshes, again asks me which fields I want, and again, I tend to just take complete reference. You're also given the option to take your search history. Because I'm specifically looking for the articles here, the records that we want to export, rather than the search, I rarely ever use that, but just to flag that that is an option here. So with all of that done, I'm going to click Export. And once again, it's just going to ask me to name the file. So I'm going to call it Ovid Example Riz. And that's going to download for me. Now, once that file's downloaded, you'll be able to open it in your preferred reference manager. So for me, that's EndNote. If I were to just click on this, it would open and import into EndNote. I won't do that now because you'll all use your own programs. The main point is that whichever program you use, Having downloaded in RIS format, you should be able then to import those records. Okay, that's, that's it. So that's how you export from Ovid. I hope this has been helpful. But of course, if you run into troubles with your exporting, do let us know at the library. We're always happy to help.